Hey y'all, Casey here. I don't know about you, but when I come home from a long, stressful day at work, I don't always want to put on something that's heart pounding, blood pumping, with flashing colors and bright lights and loud music. Uh, it's stressing me out just thinking about it. <laughs> don't get me wrong, sometimes that is the mood. But other times, I want to put on something that's like a massage for my brain. I know some people turn to mindless television for this reason. However, when I'm in this mood, I don't want to just tune out. When I'm in this mood, I want my media to be like a hug. When I'm feeling this way, I turn to a yashike. Yashike is a Japanese word that translates to healing style or healing type. Yashi meaning healing and ke meaning it was a genre of media that was created to help soothe and heal its audience. It tries to remind us to stop and smell the roses. In our ever-increasingly fast-paced world, sometimes it's nice to just slow down. Yashke tries to help us do that. Yashke also tries to promote rest and recovery through its slow pacing and thoughtful dialogue. It creates an airiness with its atmospheres and character designs. Yashke is contemplative in nature, almost creating a melancholic tone at times. If you're looking for a really strong narrative where one thing happens and then there's a conflict and then there's a resolution, Yashke might not necessarily be for you. Yashke is usually less focused on the storyline than the feel of the media. Yashke is usually less focused on the plot points and the narrative, and more focused on a slow, relaxing journey. Yashke is not for everyone. Some people want their media to be action-packed and fantastical. Nothing wrong with that. It's just a preference. I happen to like both, but I know for some people, Yashke can feel too slow and maybe even boring. Yashke is actually a subset of a larger genre called Slice of Life. Slice of Life shows focus on the everyday activities of their characters. They can be fantastical, but if they are, the fantastical elements are usually as a backdrop, not as a driving force of the narrative. Some of the other subgenre of Slice of Life besides Yashke include gag-driven comedy, cute girls doing cute things, and character-driven Slice of Life. Credit to YouTuber Supersonic Sparkle for that breakdown. One thing I noticed while I was doing my research for this video is that there were tons of lists of top Yashke shows on the internet. However, when I went through those lists, a lot of those shows were not what I would call Yashke, which is fine. You know, genres are, are subjective to some extent. Um, but however, I do want to sort of clarify um, so that if, if you watch this video and then you go out and find one of these lists like I did, and you put on one of these shows and you say, hey, wait a minute, I thought Casey said that these were slow, thoughtful shows, um, not these sort of cutesy things. Again, this is not a judgment call. I just want to um, sort of be clear about what I'm talking about versus what maybe some other people might be talking about. One example of a show that I saw on several different lists um, but I don't personally consider to be Yashke, is a show called Keon. Keon is very fun. It's a great show. I like it a lot. However, I don't think of Keon as Yashke. When I watch Keon, it doesn't feel to me like it's asking me to contemplate life. It doesn't make me feel like, a, like I'm being hugged. Um, it feels very cute and fun. Uh, However, it just doesn't give me that same feeling that I get from a lot of other Yashke media. Some shows that do comport with what I believe to be Yashke include Mushishi, Yokohama Kaibashi Kiko, most Hayao Miyazaki films, but especially My Neighbor Totoro and Kiki's Delivery Service, Aria, Polar Bear Cafe, Haibane Renmei, Hilda, and Rilakkuma and Kaoru. Those last two, as of the shooting of this video, are on Netflix. So if you wanted to 
give Yashke a shot, that's where I would recommend you start. So again, that's Hilda or Rilakkuma and Kaoru. I'll put all of the names typed out in the description of all of the media that I talk about in this video. So don't worry about spellings and stuff, if you, especially if you don't speak Japanese. I've been talking a lot about different TV shows that are, or maybe I don't feel are, uh, Yashke. However, Yashke goes far beyond just TV or even movies. Um, it's, it's a genre of media, generally speaking. So you can have Yashke video games, for example, um, two video games that are actually rather prominent, um, but people maybe just don't know that they are Iyashke, they don't, they're not familiar with the name of the genre, um, include Animal Crossing and Neko Atsume. In addition to video games, there's also Iyashke manga, my favorite of which is The Walking Man. It's a really beautiful manga, mostly silent, just about a man going about his days. It's really lovely and relaxing and is a nice thing to just sort of snug up in a corner with. Arya, one of the shows I mentioned earlier, is actually also a manga, and I actually prefer the manga version more. I think it's more slow and more relaxing than even the show. And then if you go to music, a genre that has become popular in recent years, um, I think mostly thanks to YouTube, is uh, what I frequently see called lo-fi hip-hop where it's just sort of like relaxing beats, and Chilled Cow is my favorite of the um, lo-fi channels. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Um, that it's a video that is on a constant loop, animation-wise, and then just playing all this different lo-fi music. Um, and that video, I think, itself also qualifies as a yashke. Uh, but anyways, there's lots of other examples of yashke I wanted to make this video and spread the word about Yashke because I think the world could use a little bit of healing right now. I know Yashke has definitely helped me get through some hard times, so I hope that it can help others as well. Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, and the like all have their place. But when maybe you don't want to feel so glum and down about the world, give a Yashke a try. It'll be there, patiently waiting for you waiting to take away those blues and that stress. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you got something out of this video, please click that like and subscribe button. And until next time,